This is rattlesnake plantain. Really cool ground okay. cover. This is granite with garnet in it. And the garnet, you can tell, is a harder stone. It's actually a semi-precious um, stone. And that's loaded with little garnet crystals that if you polish that, that would be like a burgundy red. This is sphagnum moss. Um, it holds 10 times its weight in water. Native Americans would have used it for menstruation as well as um, in children's diapers. Uh, it's an ancient, ancient plant. It's millions of years old. So it's sphagnum moss. So this is wintergreen. Native Americans would have eaten the berries. Um, there's two forms of wintergreen we have here um, in Litchfield County. Uh, and it also contains a little bit of aspirin. Also here you see an insect gall, which is an insect stings a branch and then has a larva in there and the larva eats the material and then flies out. Most of the time they're wasps. So here's the other variety of wintergreen. You can tell that it's wintergreen. It's a really cool thing. The veins don't extend to the end of the leaf. They stay internal. So you can identify the leaf based on that. And then it also has a wonderful wintergreen flavor. This is a vein of quartz, one of the uh, types of rocks that native people would have used for making points um, and other tools, a process known as flint mapping. Here's a great view of a shagbark hickory. And then the natives would have eaten the hickory nuts. Cecropia, is that it, the big moth? He's a moth larva. Squirrel debris, so this is a squirrel midden. You can see, cool thing about pine cones is this is called a scale. And behind each one of the scales is the seed to the conifer. So that's why the squirrel peels all the seeds off Sorry, the scales off to get to the seeds and they eat the seeds. So that's a squirrel mid. This is from the pileated woodpecker, our largest North American woodpecker. Um, and this actually creates cavities for chickadees and nut hatches and other birds to then, and, and the flying squirrel, they'll then occupy these cavities for breeding. This is a club moss. Again, it's an ancient. This is probably a million more years old. It would have been enormous when the dinosaurs were here, um, but it's a beautiful, and it could be one continuous plant, not just an individual plant. They send out rhizomes and it's one continuous plant. So this is a rock cap fern and they usually grow on um, exactly what their name is, rock caps, and um, sometimes on top of trees and stumps. And if you flip it over, you can see the sori. So these are the reproductive parts of the fern. And right now they're erupting as it's spring. And those can help you identify them as well. Okay. So this is a Christmas fern. And this is another evergreen fern. Um, and you can see these sori. They're more along the um, median of the leaf. And they're thicker usually at the top. And then they dry up like this once all the sp spores have been opened and released. So the study of feces is called scat, and it's the study of scatology. This is probably coyote scat. It's loaded with rodent and or squirrel hair in it. And here we have the lower jaw, and that's a tooth to some rodent right there. So that's the enamel. The orange is the enamel of the tooth. So here's a pile of bear scat. I know it's bear scat because it's loaded with bird seed plus the sides. So here's some millet. Here's a little bit of um, sunflower. That is all bear scat. And that's pretty fresh. I would say three or four days old. <laughs> so that is your beech tree. And then they produce the beech nut, which Native Americans would have eaten. And turkeys rely on the beech nuts and so do deer. And they're actually mm. quite, there's none in there. Mm -mm. They're actually quite tasty. But again, they're hard to get enough meat out of okay. them. So this is a gray birch. Gray birch has a chemical that is very flammable. I don't know the name of it, but these cankers, um, Native Americans would have traveled with an ember in it um, from place to place to keep their fires going. So like a gall or a burl out of a birch canker um, would hold a, an ember and stay lit. 
Something like that would stay ignited for days and days and days. So this is a marginal wood fern, and you can see it's got kind of rounder lobed leaflets. And when you look at the sori, they're on the edges of the leaves right there, rather than being more inside the leaf. That's how you can identify it. So this is lichen. Lichen is a fungi and an algae, and they've also discovered it has a yeast in it. There's all different varieties of lichens. There's painted lichens. This is a painted lichen. And then there's like a crustose lichen. Um, lichen uh, is a symbiotic relationship of the algae and the fungus. The way you can remember it is Alice algae and Freddy fungus. They went to a park and they took a lichen to each other. So this is princess pine or lycopodium. Again, it's an ancient plant. When the dinosaurs would have been here, it would have been huge. This is one continuous plant. Um, this is the pollen stem or the flower, and it was the first flash photography. So they would collect the pollen and ignite it, and it made an incredibly bright white light for flash photography from the princess pine.